Welcome back and congratulations on making it through all five units of Principles of Human Communication. In this video, we're going to discuss Unit 5 as well as the course in general to prepare you for the final exam. As you look back on the units of this course, it's important for you to recognize how each unit of this course has built upon the information and concepts that were introduced to you in previous units. We started with the basic building blocks of human communication. These include the linear and transactional models, the importance of both verbal and nonverbal communication, the influence of culture and perception on how we interpret others' messages and how we manage our own impressions. We learned that being good listeners takes some work on our part. In Units 2, 3, and 4, we learned to apply the basic elements of human communication to the different communication settings in our lives, from interpersonal communication to small group communication to communication within the workplace. We learned a number of theories to help us appreciate and understand how to better use communication to reach our personal goals and the goals of our groups in solving problems and completing tasks at work. As you come to the conclusion of this course, recall your study of mass media and mass communication. In Unit 5, we found that social media today is a form of human communication that requires a lot of discipline. We have little room to correct information because mass media tactics are very public. We also learned that media technology continues to influence our communication practices. Using communication wisely and ethically takes reflection and practice. I hope you've taken advantage of the assessments at the end of each unit of this course. Completing these assessments will improve your readiness and build your confidence for taking the final exam. Since everyone learns differently, there are a number of strategies that you should consider while reviewing the course and preparing yourself for the final exam. Now is the time to complete the study guides for each unit and review any concepts you were unsure of as you completed the unit assessment. Throughout these videos, I've been encouraging you to take notes. Reviewing those notes will keep those concepts fresh in your mind and make you feel confident in your ability to complete the final exam. The final exam is your opportunity to show your understanding of the course materials. Once you've completed all of the assessments and review opportunities in this course, I'm confident that you're ready for the final exam. Again, congratulations on reaching it this far in the course, and best of luck on the final exam.